everybody, it's Mama J, and we are here with a mystery box from Mystery Grail. This was the backpack mystery box. We're going to shoot over there so I can show you guys exactly what I picked up. But before we do that, I didn't know something alive was coming in the box. wonder if that's why it needed an air hole. All right, let's go over and take a look at that. So it's right here, and it was called the Backpack of Fun. And it was $38 plus shipping. I think it was around $50 once it shipped. Um, it's School's Cool with Mystery Grail. Each backpack of fun will contain one of each of the following. One random Funko Pop. One random comic book. Ooh, I hope it didn't get ripped with that hole, right? One random trading card pack. One random small item. One seven bucks a pop sticker. Plus a Mystery Grail scratch card. Okay, so this kind of shows what could be in there, what you could win, the prizes, etc. So we're going to go ahead and let's pop back over. All right, so we have it here. So let's go ahead and let's cut it open. I don't know why I bought it every once in a while. I get a little bug up my butt and feel like I need to suck her up and I buy something. All right. Because I know for a fact I'm probably going to get some stupid pop in here like the crayons they showed in the picture or some shit like that or a bag of donut pop. All right. Oh, well, first of all, it comes in a backpack bag. <laughs> Everything is in here. All right. So, it has a little back to school. So, I got purple. I like purple. All right. So, let's reach in here. And first thing... Oh, all right. Let's see what we got here. Oh, this is like everything mixed together, and the other thing must be the pop. Okay. So for our, uh, really? We got these Desert Storm cards, which I know for a fact I almost have bought these. You can buy, like, a whole case of these for, like, 15 bucks. I know better than this because I'm going to tell you I probably didn't get my value. Oh, look at there. We got the Venom thing. Um, I don't know. I've had quite a few of these. These came out of one of the GameStop boxes. Maybe five bucks, maybe. So we're not even at $10 yet. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got in here. Our scratcher, which we will do. A lollipop, which doesn't have value. And a bent comic book. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Yeah, this is great disappointment. But either way, um, here is the comic book. It is Captain America. It's from January. It's 75 cent comic book. So it is an older one. It actually is from 19... God, my eyes are so bad. It looks like 84. So it's an older comic, which is cool. Um, looks like it's in pretty good shape for as old as it is. All right. And I don't know. So, okay, let me see what else. We, oh, wait, there's something else in here. Oh, another sucker. All right, we got a soda. We got, oh, we got Black Adam. He is dented, but he's 1,500 pieces. Um, it's so weird. Look at how he has the seal right down the front of his face. I've never seen a soda seal like that before. Probably a common. All right, and then our pop is, okay, well, we got Falcon from 2021. This is a pop projector. Still has the plastic on it, which is nice. Pop protectors being protected. Pop's pretty cool, but this is the pop. I am not sure what he's running. We will go ahead and check the value on him really quick because, and we'll check the value on the soda I haven't opened. There's something really weird about the way this soda's sealed. I'll be honest, it's it's really weird the way it's sealed. I don't know, maybe they do seal them like that and I just have never got one like that. All right, so let's go. Uh, Let's go to Hobby DB, which I don't like. I will go check eBay also because that's usually more legit. Um, let's see here. All right, so the Black Adam Common Soda. Well, it makes no sense. So you, this is what proves that Hobby DB, who wants to now charge you to hold your collection, don't charge me till you get your app right because the common of this soda is 15. The chase of this soda is 14. Let's go over to, e to eBay and take a look. Let's go get a real price. Brand new sealed. It's running about, man. Well, there's a chase on here for $8. So yeah, it, it's probably like a $5 soda because there's a, I'm seeing chases for like $8. There's a chase for 15 or best offer. 
Yeah, so these aren't worth very much. Let's take a look and see what he's worth. Okay, so he's selling for as low as $5 on eBay. So I can guarantee you I did not get my value back. This truly was a... I mean, seriously, this is 5 10 I'm being nice when I go to 15 for here. I'll give this $2, so we'll say 17 there. This bag is worth maybe a dollar. And let me check out this comic, because this comic could be worth way more. So let me check on the value of the comic. This comic is selling for as low as $3 on eBay. So I made about $20, and it cost me $51. So I lost $31 with this back school, back to school backpack. $31. Wow, that's a lot to lose. Well, if you don't count shipping, I lost $17 below, but still it was a loss. It was not a win. This is probably one of the worst mystery boxes I have bought in a really long time that I didn't even come close. I'm pretty sure it wasn't guaranteed value. I do not believe that, uh, Mystery Grail offers guaranteed value. But either way, just, there's my box, $21 for foot. I, I, I'm not kidding. I, I mean, I'll be lucky if I get five. I'll be lucky if I get 10. I, I, I mean, another five for this, even as a chase. So that's $10, $15. I'm being nice, going to 17 with that. And this being three, we're looking at $20 in value. Oh, and the bag for a dollar. So we're looking at $21 in value and the box was 38 actually. So that's $17 below. Wow. Mr. Grail, man, I'm, I'm used to getting screwed by you, but this was beyond getting screwed. <laughs> All right, guys, let me know. Did you grab one of these? How was your value? Did it suck as bad as this one? And you know, maybe we'll do better in the next one. Oh, you know what? Let me see if as crappy as this box was. Oh, they gave me a pop protector. So I'll keep the pop protector. That's probably the only thing in the box I'll keep. Um, let me scratch this off. See if we got... All right, so let's see what we got here. Oh, it didn't win because you have to get all three together, right? I got one thing, so I got 200 tokens. So even got the lowest on the scratcher. So I'll tell you, that was the worst luck, the worst box. I've, I've seen some bad boxes come from Mystery Grail. It's expected, especially when you're buying their cheap boxes. But this box to be literally $18 below value is mind-blowing, mind-blowing. But anyways, don't forget, let me know what you think down below. Did you grab one of these boxes? Did it suck? as bad as this one and don't forget that comment could get you entered in a giveaway and until next time guys keep on rocking